Hello, and welcome to the world of 3D. Now, your TV might be flat, but what you watch doesn't have to be. What makes 3D so immersive is you don't just see it with your eyes, you see it with your mind. Isn't it amazing? With the world of 3D, sport is more exciting. Amazing goal! Movies are more engrossing, entertainment is more spectacular, and with natural history, you really feel like you're there. Bad news, I'm afraid, for all you arachnophobes out there. First of all, though, we need to help you get set up so you can have the best 3D viewing experience. Spending a few minutes going through these simple steps really should help. So now, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Mr. 3D, who'll help show you what I mean. Hello. To get the best 3D picture, it's really important how you arrange your room. 3D looks best when you're sitting directly in front of your screen. With wall-mounted TVs, you want to be sure the angle of the TV is flat onto you. You could adjust the height of your sofa, but personally, I'd recommend just tilting your TV down a bit. Getting these two things right should get rid of any double images you may see, like this. Hello. Thank you. The other thing that will help you get the most out of your 3D experience is finding the perfect viewing distance from your television. This is about three times the height of your TV. For 46 inch TVs, that's around six feet. So, now you know how to set up your room for the best 3D experience. One vital element for great 3D is lighting. Should you close the curtains, switch the lights on or off? The important thing to remember is keep it moody. Too much light and you'll see strange things on TV, like yourself as a reflection. If it's too dark, it's not that great either. So for once, it's better to be a bit dim. And that's it for lighting. I'd like to introduce you to the 3D test card. What were you expecting? A little girl playing noughts and crosses with a scary clown? A new era in TV needs a new test card. This is where you can check your brightness and contrast. Audio sync and Dolby multi-channel sound. Aspect ratio, the sharpness and colour. I won't go into all these tests now, but to find out where you can access them, please go to our website. But one test you can do now is to find out whether you're actually watching this in 3D. Pretty crucial, really. You should see an L and an R at the sides of the screen. Close your left eye and the L should disappear. When you close your right eye, the R should disappear. If they do, good news, you're watching in 3D. Don't forget to check out the extended test card programme for more tests. These days, it's not just the stars who wear dark glasses inside, and for a great 3D experience, it's vital to look after them. There are two types of glasses, active and passive. Active glasses are the ones with the batteries in them. It's important to keep them fully charged and make sure nothing gets in between them and the base unit. Passive glasses look more like sunglasses. For both, it's important you keep them clean and smudge free. So if your glasses are clear, your 3D viewing should be too. Well, that's it from me. If you've followed the advice, your 3D viewing should now be truly immersive. You won't just watch TV anymore, you'll experience it. about the extended test card available on Sky Anytime and online. I hope you enjoy your Sky 3D experience. Goodbye.